Hello friends, what is up? Welcome to the stream. God, I need to turn this down before I go live. There we go. Hello, how's everyone doing? Hopefully everything is fine. Hopefully the audio is fine. Hopefully I look okay. Probably, probably not. <laughs> um, there's a lot of people in chat already. Hello, George, Adam, AKA unemployed lawyer and successful. Uh, Zyphir, hello. Um, I have, I have thought about the wall. Every time I look at it, it scares me. I assume it's not as heavy as it looks. It is not Zyphir. I'm excited to show you. Um, and a few other people in chat, I think were mentioning that they want to try Hadrian's wall, but it's intimidating. And I'm hoping that today's stream solves that for you and um, shows you that Hadrian's Wall is actually not that complicated. Um, there's just a lot of decision space um, between all of the different things that you can do. Um, Devin, hello. Uh, hopefully your run's going well. Please don't trip and fall while watching my stream. Um, Srev Mom, hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm putting the girls down for a nap and then I can focus fully on stream. Yay for Jenna time during lunch. Aw so nice everyone's so nice lady croft hello i'm so excited to see how this plays it looks intimidating but i'm uh curious yes amazing all right i forgot you you're not in arkansas currently yeah devin's out traveling somewhere hello joe welcome to the stream uh joe was just over at my place yesterday for a board game day it was a good time um can we play this as she goes along yes so Shorty Dancer, you could actually um, play along with me if you wanted to. Um, if you guys have Hadrian's Wall, you could actually go along and play along with the um, like attack cards that come out. Um, and then obviously the like card that gets flipped for the resources that you start with, you could also go along with me with that and just use my, um, like, I forget what these are called, but like the different shapes and, and market numbers and stuff you could use from mine as well. Kim, hello, welcome. You look gorgeous. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Lady Croft. I never really, I'm not going to lie, I don't really put a lot of uh, effort into my appearance on live streams, really, because I just want this to be like a chill, like we're just hanging out kind of thing. And I'm not going to lie, I don't do my makeup on an everyday basis, so... Um, I just try to make it as casual and chill as possible. Devin has the runs. <laughs> um, always look okay, but you are quite on my end and I have you. Oh, is it quiet? Let me, do you guys want me to, is the background music too loud? Am I too quiet? Please let me know. Jenna, you didn't update the Instagram about who won. Um, I'm assuming you mean for Endless Winter because I did not win Endless Winter. I got second though. Oh, it's Josephine. Oh my goodness. Okay, Lady Croft, I will take note of that, that you are Josephine from Twitch. Gabriella, hello, welcome. I've played Hadrian's Wall with three others, and it seems like a beast of a game, but when you have someone who knows the game and can explain what all of the areas do, then it's a lot easier. Um, I like this one. Yes, I definitely agree. Um, I will admit there is one specific spot that I always avoid, and that is the um, gladiators which I don't think I've ever done before. There is a scenario in here that forces you to use the gladiators. So I think I'm going to do that one on stream at some point. Um, I don't know exactly which one it is, but I have decided um, I got all the way up to the fifth scenario um, when I started this before. And initially I was going to start again from the beginning, but I think because it's already like the 8th of September and I want to get through the whole campaign in September. I think I'm just going to start from where I left off. So um, that's why it says that we are starting with Fort number five, because that's the one that I need to play next. So 
that is that. Also, I'm really sad that the um, thumbnail for this is not updating. Um, for some unknown reason, it's not updating and it's showing the one that was from before. Um, just know that I have updated it. When I click on the live, it shows it for me, but not for everybody else. It's all right, Jen, I don't do my makeup every day either. Well, George, I'm surprised. You're so, so gorgeous. Just, <laughs> I assumed you had makeup on. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, Joe got third. Thumbnail updated on my end. Okay, amazing, because I spent a lot of time editing that thumbnail. Um, so I'm glad that that worked out. All right, so I'm just shuffling the different cards. Um, I'm gonna have a deck and the AI is going to have a deck. Um, I do need to quickly, I believe I have the solo campaign on here. Um, maybe I don't, recents. Did I delete it? I better not have deleted it. It might have got deleted from, dang it. Okay, I'm gonna have to go and search it up. Bup, 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 bup. Updated here as well. Okay, good. How's everyone today? Jenna, thank you so much for the Mycelia video. Loved seeing what it was all about. Very excited about Decay Powers. I think that's an interesting mechanic. Already backed. Amazing! Kimma, I am so happy that you enjoyed that. I actually really enjoyed Mycelia. I was really sad when I had to send it away. Um, I played it um, a few times multiplayer and I didn't get a chance to play the solo campaign or like not the solo campaign the solo variant so I was a little bit sad about that um, but I'm hoping to get a copy so that I can play the solo variant because the the whole decay thing and how you kind of go throughout the mushrooms life and then decay it and then it gives you some sort of special ability I really liked that as well um, that was probably one of my favorite mechanics in it too. Um, I also really liked the whole like sporing and like putting out the spores um, and like dispersing them. I think it was really fun. Um, loved the B-roll for that also. Well done. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, I enjoy doing the B-roll and like the cinematic shots of the games. So I'm happy that you liked those. Jenna won Court of the Dead though. She's all about um area control and dudes on a map now honestly like i really enjoyed court of the dead my friends keep on um like introducing me to these games that i never thought that i would be interested in um and court of the dead was actually very fun <laughs> got her hooked with blood rage and wonderlands war yep it's true everyone jenna is officially an area control lover I am fine with area control as long as it has other mechanics to back it up. I think that's my thing is I don't want a fully just like area control game. Like I think my first um, instance with area control was Small World. And I think that just put a sour taste in my mouth for area control. Um, so that's why I, I just always steered away from them. But ever since I played what was another like area control game that I played? Um, or just like ones that have confrontation with other players. Um, I think Dwellings of Elder Vale was like the first one where I'm like, oh, like I'm fine with people coming into my territory and wanting to like battle me, you know? Like I'm okay with that and I think it's fun. Um, yeah, it was a surprise hit um, to me. I really enjoyed it. Nice. I'm glad that you enjoyed Court of the Dead too. I keep on wanting to say Court of Miracles because that's another game that Aiden has introduced to me um, that I actually really enjoyed as well. 
Um, someone said my Celia was like small world and that <laughs> got my attention. Really? See, that's the thing is that I really enjoyed my Celia, but I didn't enjoy small world. And for me, I think, I don't know what, I don't really think they're similar. Um, there's just like a little bit of like, you take your things off the board. I don't know. I guess you can compare like to the putting the mushrooms out onto the board and then like decaying them as in like the different factions in small world and how you disperse them and then they they all die out and then you put out another one i guess there's a little bit of comparison there but i think with the whole like mushroom thing i like the theme better so that's why i enjoyed it more i don't know and like considering the spores as like resources in a way and building out your like network and stuff i don't know I can see it, I can see the comparison, but not at the same time. Would you play, um, I always want to say Inish, but I'm pretty sure it's Innis. Um, I would love to play Innis. It is 90% area control, but you also have a closed draft. I really enjoy closed drafting, so I think I would like that. The sporing reminded me of Sprouts in Earth mechanic, which I like, yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay, so I am going to switch you guys over. Uh-oh. Why is it not working? My button. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> Good Lord, help me. Okay. Um, first pronunciation. Say it with the H. Oh, okay. Hinnish? Hinnis? <laughs> Shut up, Adam. <laughs> Inish. I didn't know it was Inish. Everyone keeps on saying Innis, and I'm like, that sounds funny, but I'm pretty sure I heard Alex say it, and it's Inish. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> okay, so we are here. This is Hadrian's Wall. If you've never seen it before, it is overall just a get resources and right or get resources and go up tracks i guess that's what you can consider it as um but you have um you're kind of protecting your village this side here is your village so you have all of the different um villagers inside your village um so you have the traders the performers the priests the i never can pronounce this the ap ap apparatories apparators and the uh, patricians and then you have all of the associated buildings oh, I was wondering if like my phone was vibrating because I heard this weird sound but it's Penny upstairs <laughs> she was like scratching um, oh in British it's pronounced in it in it okay <laughs> good one Jenna <laughs> scary looking it's really not scary i promise you so all of the different villager types have different associated buildings um so for example the traders have the uh, precinct and then they have the market the performers have the theater as well as the gladiators which again this i really don't use very often um, i think i might have tried it in one game and i didn't like it so i've always just avoided using this um, the priests have the gardens, which are up top here, as well as the temples. The apparators <laughs> have the baths and the courthouse. And then the patricians have the diplomat and the scout. So these are all just different things that you can decide to use if you choose so, choose to do so with your different resources. So this is your village. And then this here is your protection of your village. So. You have the three cohorts here. These are going to be your protection from different attacks that were going to be um, having happened every single round. So there are six different rounds and you're gonna have an attack every single round. Um, so you have your cohorts, which are your protection. You have your mining and foresting. This is really just to go out and get resources. You have your wall, you have your sippy, you have your, wait, no, wall guard, sippy, wall, fort. So these are all just different levels of security 
for your village. Um, and then you also have your other like buildings here. So you have your small hotel, large hotel, small workshop, large workshop, small road and large road. There's a few different things here that you can use. Um, and then this here is your main scoring area. So this actually doesn't count really for part of the like thematic ties, I guess. This, this is just scoring. You're going up each of the four different tracks here to get victory points. Um, and then everything else is what you can use your resources towards. Does that make sense, everyone? Bup, bup, bing, pow. Nat! Hello, Nat! What is up? How are you? I, uh, I saw that you, you signed up for my Patreon, so I just wanted to say thank you. Um, George, I think you also signed up for my Patreon as well, so... Uh, thank you guys so much. Anyone else in chat that have signed up for my Patreon? Seriously, I like I freaking appreciate the support. You guys are wonderful. Um, hopefully, you're enjoying the content over there. Um, I will be vlogging um, tomorrow. I'm going to a local con, and I think I'm gonna vlog and put that up for like Patreon exclusive content, so you guys will be able to see that. Which is heavier, this or Twilight Inscription? So to me personally, I think Twilight Inscription is heavier than this, um, but that's probably because I've played Hadrian's Wall so many times. Um, so there's a possibility that it just could be that. But with um, Twilight Inscription, you have four different pages that like do something different. Whereas this, like it's all doing the same thing, just in different ways. Um, Twilight Inscription, you have like, you're doing this, you're not doing the same thing, but you're using the same things in different ways, if that makes sense. So it makes it a little bit more complicated, in my opinion. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a joke about how Chef says in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm too gullible for your shit. <laughs> Jenna, my wife is making me wait um, till she gets home to open the two packs of Lorcana. <laughs> it's just so much fun. Is she sad that uh, you opened one last night? <laughs> Twilight Inscription is fairly easy, so this would be no problem. Yep, exactly. This one really isn't that difficult. The four board seems less dense than this, though. Okay, maybe. I, like I said, I think it's because I played this so many times that I just know it, um, like, off the top of my head. Yeah, Twilight Inscription just has more to do, and each page is so different. Yeah. How is this compared to um, Legacy of You in difficulty? So Legacy of You is completely different, but I do think that that one, the... Overall gameplay is easier, in my opinion, but the, the game is more challenging, if that makes sense. Um, this one, you obviously are just playing the game, and then whatever score you get is what you get. Um, but in Legacy of You, it's a lot more challenging. Like, to beat the game, it's more challenging, but the overall gameplay to me is more simple. Hopefully that makes sense. I think this board packs a lot in a small space too, and it makes it intimidating as a result. Yep, I do agree with that for sure. She doesn't know yet. I put them back in the package and I'll fake open it. <laughs> Joe. Oh, you're funny. All right. Be like, yes, we're just opening this now, honey. I haven't seen any of these. Oh, a holographic Robin Hood. I didn't know that. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna get started. Um, I do, I have everything shuffled. Um, this, okay, so this is my deck. So maybe I should just put this off to the side. Um, you guys don't need to see my deck, um, but you do need to see the AIs. So that is that. I think I was actually looking for the Hadrian's Wall solo campaign. 
I'm really sad. I really thought that I had it. Okay, perfect. I, I thought I had it on my phone, but I don't. So this one has no extra rules, which is nice. But my fort goal is that I must build the large granary, the large hotel, the large road, and the large workshop. Oh boy. So excited for this. So the large granary is just that I have to get through the entire fort, um, which I do pretty much every single game, so I'm good with that. But I also do have to build the large hotel, the large workshop, and the large road. And then I also have to score 75 plus. Oh boy. So exciting. And then additionally, the challenge, um, basically how the overall solo campaign works is that you have some fort rules which this one does not have any fort rules which is nice um, some of them like change up what you can and can't do um, something some certain things like that uh, some have fort goals i think every single one has fort goals whether that be you just have to beat a certain amount of victory points um, you have to complete certain things um, and then they have a challenge, which you don't have to complete the challenge in order to finish the level or complete the level. But if you do complete the challenge, it gives you something for the next one. Um, so the challenge for this one is that if I score 10 plus victory points in each of the four um, attribute tracks, which are these four here, um, I'm going to get a setup reward for the next fort which is I would gain an additional yellow and blue worker. Um, oh, good Lord. Please hold. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> hmm. See ya. <laughs> I don't have a snap. <laughs> Holding. Oh, good. Who even has Snapchat anymore? Is that even a thing anymore? <laughs> All right. What else do we have here? Banhammer. Yep. Should make George a mod. He is responsible. How do I make someone a mod? Add as moderator. Bop. The unemployed lawyer is now a standard moderator. Hand me the wrench. I need more responsibilities. <laughs> Here we go. Lo-fi beats to solo board game too. Yes. I like this hold music. <laughs> Has Dobby be handed a wrench? <laughs> Am I a free elf? <laughs> no. I'm still on MySpace? No way. Oh my goodness. That brings me back. Holy manoli. Okay. So that's crazy. Oh no. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by getting my first two cards. So you're going to be at the beginning of the round handed two cards. One you are going to be discarding in order to, or actually one you're gonna be like placing to the side for other players. Because this is a solo game, you just place it off to the side. You also can use it yourself for the scout and a few other things based off of these things um, but for the most part you are putting it off to the side to use those things and you're going to be getting the um, additional things right here so you're going to get for this example you'll get a blue worker and a yellow worker um, and then the other one you will be sliding into here in order to use the um, 
like objectives. So these are all going to be end game objectives that you're going to get victory points for based off of certain things. Thanks. Thanks, uh, George. Tom is my friend. Who's Tom? Snap is a de generational thing. My teen daughter uses it every day. Yeah, I definitely think uh, it's something that younger generations still uses. I used to use it, but I guess because like I'm older now, it's not really a thing anymore. I'm um, pretty sure more responsibilities is more freedom. <laughs> MySpace still exists. I thought it died when Jeffree Star's BF broke up with him. <laughs> he disappeared off the internet. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm screen screenshotting it. Uh, is that a word? George asking for more responsibilities. <laughs> uh, not, not sure if I should be scared or excited. <laughs> Okay, so these are my two options here. Um, I think I'm pretty good at getting my disdain pretty low. So I think I'm going to do this one. This one is going to, at the end of the game, based off of my final disdain, I'm going to um, get victory points. Disdain is a bad thing that when we get to one of the attacks, I'll kind of explain that. Um, this is constructed landmarks. I'm pretty good at getting some landmarks too, but I think getting three landmarks is pretty difficult. So I will put this over here. Actually, I'll put it down here. So this one's mine. And then we're going to flip over two for the AI. Um, how should I organize this? So these two are for the AIs. And I'm pretty sure, do I put both of them out? It's been a while since I played this solo. I don't think I put them both out. Or maybe I do. There's a possibility that I do. Um. Reveal two cards for the one player game, yeah. And one for the two player game. So I was right, we're good. I haven't lost my mind. All right, oh shoot, I can't really put this here actually, because I need to flip over a card. Tom was the owner of MySpace and when you made an account, he was automatically your friend. I remember that! Oh my God, you guys are bringing back some memories. That's so funny. Okay, so this is mine. These are the AIs. And then this is going to be flipped over for resources. Ooh, okay. So to start off the game, these are my starting resources here. So I get two black, one blue, two purple, one yellow, and two brick. And then because I picked this one, I get another two brick and I get one brick for my starting resource production. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this right here, but this is resource production. Um, whenever you gain resource production, it'll be this little like hammer icon and you'll fill in one of the circles and at the beginning of each year, you'll get an additional brick. Um, so if I had four filled out at the beginning of each year, I would gain four additional brick for my resource production. Um, bricks are resources, and then you have the four different colors of workers, and each of the workers and the resources are going to be able to allow you to do different things here. So you guys will kind of see, just as I fill in this for the first round, you'll kind of get the whole like flow of each round. Um, and then I'll kind of explain to you each of the things as I, or if I decide to do them. Um, alrighty, I'm back. Run and swim over. Very nice, Devin. Welcome. 
What did I miss? Uh, you missed a great conversation about MySpace. Do you still have MySpace, Devin? Because <laughs> apparently some people in chat do. Lunch break over? Thanks for the fun time, friends. Thank you so much for joining, Srevni. I appreciate you. Hopefully you're doing well. Aw, good. I'm leaving just as Devin is back. <laughs> well, everyone is here, even Devin. Just a cool down, not like a lapse or anything. You're so lucky that you have a pool, Devin. I'm very jealous. Pippi Long's, Long's talking was the ball. <laughs> All right, so let's get started, shall we? Um, so for these, like I said, these are the protection of your, or technically the cohort is the main protection, um, but you can also work on your fort and your wall and different things like that. The fort requires either the blue or black workers. Um, the wall requires a brick. And whenever you fill something in and that spot has something, you gain that right away. So it's a matter of spending the things that you have and gaining more things to try to do as much as possible um, during that round. I used to chat using IR IRC and MSN. MSN, oh my God, that is, yep, that's taking me back. I started, started Facebook as a sophomore in high school. I don't have Facebook and never did. I mean, MySpace and never did. Wow, how lame. Devin didn't have MySpace. Loser. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so let me get started here um, right away. Also, um, the fort, I'll explain this now because this is probably what I'm going to do first. Um, the fort is connected to the wall. So I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, um, but you have these little connections, these little chains, and you cannot fill in any of the wall spots unless you have that corresponding connected to a chain box filled in first. So I'm gonna have to go in first and do um, the fort. So I'm gonna use a blue to fill in the first fort. That actually connects to two of the wall spots. So now I'm gonna use one resource to fill in this one here. That has a yellow worker on it. So I'm gonna gain a yellow worker. Um, each of the different colored meeples do have names to them, but I'm not 100% sure what they are. Um, I just say black worker, purple worker, blue worker, yellow worker, and resource. So, yes. Um, let's do another resource and fill in the sippy here. Both the wall and the sippy are all attached to the fort. Um, and both the wall and the sippy require the resources. Um, so that is that. I do have two yellows. So yellows are primarily for this here. And I think I typically go for the patricians pretty early on because I really like to do the scout action. So I'm probably going to do that again. And I'm kind of tempted to go for the performers this round. I typically, I'll tell you guys right now, the two that I mainly go for are the patricians and the traders. Um, just because I like to get a lot of production resource um, or resource production, good lord. Um, so I usually go for that, but maybe I try to go for patricians and performers. That would be fun. So I'm gonna use one of my yellows to fill in the first spot of the patricians. That's gonna get me a resource. And then I think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna use both of my blacks here. One, actually no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep a black for now. And I'm gonna use that to fill in my next fort. I can use a resource to fill in my next sippy. 
think I'm gonna use my yellow to fill in the first performer spot that has a blue worker. So I get a blue worker. And then I'm gonna use that blue worker to fill in the next spot on the fort. I'm gonna use a resource to fill in the next spot on the wall. That's gonna get me another yellow. Okay. <laughs> Let me catch up on chat. Y'all be chatting. Holy manoli. Met my first boyfriend on IRC. I moved 14 hours away to be with him. And we were together for 13 years. Crazy, right? Oh, that's that's so cute. Uh, back in the day when someone picked up the uh, landline phone, it would be DC, uh, you from the net. Yep, I remember that. <laughs> also it took 20 minutes to log online. Oh my goodness. I was probably like very young when that was a thing, uh, but I do remember it for sure. Listen to us old people, us old people. Some of us are only 29 and have these memories. Yep, I am 29 as well. George, I'm not crying. 29, you youngin. I would pay to be 29 again. Everyone's just complaining about being old. Oh my goodness. Jenna probably does not remember um, what I look like, but I want her to guess my age. Zyphir, remind me where we met. Did we meet at Gen Con? I'm assuming yes. I met quite a few people at Gen Con. At the booth. Get back from lunch and there is a Jenna streaming. Sounds like a good Friday. Welcome in, Brian. Thank you so much for joining. I was like 15, I think. Can't do that anymore. At Gen Con. Remind me, remind me what we talked about. I like doing the gardens early. Um, those bonuses are amazing. Early on on the tracks feels amazing. Ooh, Macgirl 4287, welcome to the stream. I want to be 29 again. I'm 30. <laughs> Oh, to be a year younger. Can't wait until I turn 30 in December. It's going to be great. <laughs> You're getting banned for that. <laughs> All right. Um, so I have purples, which typically purples are going to be used for a lot of these things as well as here. Um, so actually, I think what I want to do pretty early on, because the main goal for this one is that I have to have the large hotel, large workshop, as well as the large road and large granary. So what I think I'm going to do right off the bat, because I've reached this two flag here, that gives me access to be able to build the small hotel. Each of these, you have to be a certain um, have to be at a certain spot here on your fort so you guys can see all of the orange flags here So because I've reached the two that gives me access to build the small hotel um, I do have a purple I do have a resource, but I need a blue So I think I'm going to use See if I use this yellow the only way that I can get a blue worker for this is if I fill in the first of this, the apparators. Still don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I am going to do that just to get the blue worker. So I'm going to grab that. That means that I do have the purple, the blue, and the resource in order to build the first hotel. So that's going to allow me to fill this in. 
the small hotel um, at the beginning of each year, I will then gain um, a additional yellow, which is nice. I do gain another yellow worker. Um, I asked um, if you ha or you knew where Isoverian Guard was and how my friends were making fun of me. Oh my goodness, yes. I remember you. How old are you? You looked pretty young. I'm gonna guess... I'm gonna guess 30... 37? I'm gonna guess, Zyphir, you're 37. 37 or 38. I'm hoping I'm not... You didn't look that old. But you, you were saying in chat that you're... You're super old. Well, not super old, but like, to be young again. But you did not look that old, if I remember correctly. Hello, Felicia. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Jenna. I've been watching your videos and I'm so glad I'm able to watch your live plays. I love your videos. Oh my goodness. Felicia, thank you so much. I love how your last... No way! 37. Frick yeah! Look at me go. Um, Felicia, thank you so much for joining. I like how it's Gardner. Your... Is that actually your last name? If it is, I feel like that's very, very perfect. Hi, Penny. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> I've been mistaken for a high schooler before. I have also been mistaken as a high schooler. I also, whenever I go to, um, what is it called? Like the LCBO, like an alcohol store, I always get carded. I'm pretty sure they have to card pretty much anyone that looks at least somewhat young, so I understand that. Um, but I also do get carded quite often at like restaurants and stuff too, so... Yes, it is. No way. That's so cool that your last name is Gardner. How perfect is that? True garden member. Oh, yeah, we had Korean corn dogs yesterday for dinner. Bored to play and a few of my other friends as well. It was very, very good. All right. We'll get through this first round at some point. Please let me know in chat if you guys are watching this and you are watching the gameplay. Let me know if you have any questions at any point and I will definitely uh, let you know. Also, hopefully you guys can see like where I have filled out and stuff. I try to use like a darker marker so you guys can see. <laughs> the only thing stopping me from getting carded is my beard. <laughs> there you go, Zyphir. Just grow a beard. <laughs> And then you will be never looked at as a high schooler again. The best one was when my uncle was called grandpa, my cousin was dad, and I was the son even though I was older than my cousin. Oh my goodness. That's so funny. Um, have they released this with red instead of purple workers yet? I'm pretty sure they they have, Jess. Um, or Jesse, sorry. Um, mine does not come with the, the red. I got mine quite a long time ago. Um, but I did get some promo cards when I backed Legacy of You, and those have the, like, purple slash red worker on it. So I'm assuming because they released those promo cards, they probably have started selling the one with the red workers. Wife does not want me to have a beard. Yeah, I don't blame her. I do not like facial hair. <laughs> George, I'm so sorry. <laughs> just personally as a thing, I just don't like facial hair. <laughs> uh, I don't often go lol. I did have to um, buy this liqueur that was butterscotch flavored though. They make it in my hometown's region. Um, how to support, you know. Very true. That's nice of you. Uh, Damn, shots fired, Jenna. <laughs> I'm so sorry, George. <laughs> you look great. You look great, George. The beard does suit you. 
why did they change it to red? I believe it was because of um, like color blindness. Um, Tasha, hello, welcome to the stream. I need to stop getting distracted. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I did really want to get to this um, scout here, which I need to get to the two. So actually I can do that. I'm gonna use this yellow. I'm going to scratch in the second here on the patricians and then that's going to allow me um, the scout here. Once you get to the second um, flag of the patricians track, you can use a black worker in order to do a scout action, which I will show you guys now. So I'm using a black. I am going to scratch out this horse here and the scout action is actually this little um, polyomino puzzle here in the bottom corner and this is where these different shapes come into play so what I can do is I can either use mine that way the black worker that I used just goes to the general supply if you choose to use another player's shape so if I chose to use the AI I don't think the AI gains it but when you're playing a multiplayer game the players card that we you use they actually get the black worker that you're using for the scout action. So um, because I'm just going to use mine, I'm just going to use this four in one line. Um, you can flip them as well. So um, per completed row. So I think I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. I did cover up two resources, so I do gain two bricks. Crappy thing about this is I have three bricks and I am not really gonna be able to use them. And the sad thing about this game is if you have any leftovers, you're not gonna be able to use them. They are going to be discarded at the end of the round. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Ooh, also it was very good on ice cream. Ooh, I feel personally attacked even though you don't know me. <laughs> Jesse, do you have facial hair? I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. Facial hair on people are wonderful. But for me, I don't want somebody with facial hair. So Francis has no facial hair. Thumbs up. But you know, I could deal with it if it happened, you know? If, if Francis wanted to grow some facial hair, which I don't think he can, <laughs> I would be fine with it. I'm sad about the switch to red because I love um, purple, but I get it's better for accessibility, yeah. Goes better with the box too. Very true. Yeah, very true. <laughs> Unless it's a dog with facial hair. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Can Francis grow facial hair? I don't think he can. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think he can grow anything. I like he sometimes has a little bit of a mustache, but that's pretty much it. Ooh, it's called Butter Ripple. Check it out at LCVO. Great liquor on ice cream. Ooh, I'm definitely going to check that out. I've learned the basics of the game on BGA, but how does the campaign slash fort work? So, Tasha, basically, um, the solo campaign, there's going to be, I think there's 16. Also, I'm pretty sure one of my dogs farted. Oh my goodness. Walt, was that you? Walt, did you fart? That was disgusting, dude. Oh yeah, it was definitely Walt. Oh, nasty. <laughs> um, but basically, the campaign consists of, I think it's 16 different forts. And each of the forts are going to have a unique goal as well as... Sometimes they have unique rules as well as a challenge. Um, the unique rules is going to be maybe something you can or can't do. 
Um, the goal is what you have to complete in order to uh, beat that fort. Um, so for example, the goal for fort number five is that I have to finish and build the uh, large hotel, the large workshop, as well as the large road and the large granary. So I have to build all four of those and I have to get a score of 75 or more. <laughs> Must be nice to have dogs to blame it on. I did not fart Devin. Jeez, there's no one else in this room. So I just, I could have just ignored it. <laughs> Maybe it's just so bad. I just couldn't ignore it. I'm like, dang, my fart smells disgusting <laughs> no <laughs> it was my dog i promise you um what was i saying also so that's the fort number five um there's also a challenge which is an additional thing that you can try to get on top of the goal that would give you something for the next fort um so for example with this one if i'm able to get um each of these tracks above 10 which is here um, I'm going to be able to, I think it's I get a yellow and a blue worker at the beginning of the next, um, like, fort, which I think is cool. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> no, it was Penny. <laughs> Probably. Um, okay. So, yeah, I think the unfortunate thing here is that I don't think I can use my brick for anything which makes me so sad. Why did I do this? I probably should have waited on the, the scout because then these two bricks that I just got from the scout are kind of just pointless right now. Um, there's no possible way for me to get a black or a blue worker. I probably, thinking about it, I should have just skipped out on the scout for now. I should have just not did that and then did it next round and then used the black worker that I used for the scout to fill in this next spot of the fort because then I would have been able to do this. Shoot. That's unfortunate because now looking back, I'm a doofus. I keep on getting distracted and I made a bad decision. Okay, what I think I'm going to do I think I might actually undo that. Clearly with this, you usually wouldn't be able to undo it because like, I guess it's a solo game. So you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna undo what I just did with that scout because I don't wanna do that. That was a really dumb decision on my part. So I'm just going to fill in what I've done so far, ignoring the scout action. I filled in this one and I filled in one of these. I'm gonna skip that scout action, which means two of these bricks go back and I get my black back. This, this is the nice thing about solo games is you can decide what you wanna <laughs> do. So I did that and then I had one, two, and three, and four. That's what I had so far. And then I also got the large hotel. So that's everything that I did on this page. There we go. So we took back my action. I'm not doing that. Um, but I did do the second of this. So I'll keep that because I used a yellow to fill in the next one of the patricians. But instead of using this scout to do the scout action right away, I'm gonna use this to fill in the next spot of my wall. That's gonna gain me a yellow. That's gonna also allow me to use this brick um, to fill in this, which this is going to get me one on this track as well as one cohort, which cohorts are very important. And so I either fill in one on the left, the center or the right, 
I'm left-handed, so I'm just gonna go for that. I'm gonna do the left side of my cohort. All right. We do have a purple and a yellow. I think I'm gonna use the yellow to fill in the first of the trader. That's gonna gain me a purple. And I'm gonna use both purples to go mining and forcing. So that's gonna gain me one brick and one resource production. So I gain one brick, these guys go back and I get to fill in a circle here for resource production. And I'm gonna use this brick to fill in this spot of my sippy. There we go. That got me a lot more than what I had before. Amazing. Okay. Um, looks like Devin is about to have a 17 hour live stream instead of a 16 hour stream. Jenna is almost at the hour mark. <laughs> oh boy. Devin, are you actually going to do that? I feel like you could probably do that. You could play a bunch of games and just chat. It's probably something that now that you have a full-time job with Lucky Duck, you probably don't have any time to do. But I'm sure that everyone's going to continue bugging you and telling you that you should do it. <laughs> no different than safe scumming in video game, which I do all the time because who cares as long as you have fun. Exactly, Zyphir. Exactly. Okay. So that is everything for the round. Um, once you have finished all of your resources, any resources that you can't use do, uh, do get discarded. But fortunately, I was able to recon my mistake there and I don't have any resources left over. So awesome sauce. I am now going to get attacked, which when you get attacked, um, based off of the difficulty, so you have either easy, medium, or hard, um, I believe it pretty much stays the same up until this point for medium um, it gets a little bit difficult here for hard I've only ever done easy so I think I'm just gonna stick with easy I don't know if that's like the best thing to do but I think I'm gonna stick with easy just to get through my first full campaign and then maybe you know in the future I'll do another solo campaign where I go through in the medium difficulty and then I can always do the um, hard difficulty in the future as well. But I'm just gonna stick with the easy difficulty. So that means that um, I'm going to flip over one card here and hopefully it shows the left cohort. Um, at the top, you will have the different cohorts here. So whatever one is highlighted is the one that is getting attacked. So, I have a one in three chance. I don't think it's going to happen, but we will see. Of course. Um, so, it is the middle. So, I don't have any protection in my middle cohort. So, they are going to attack. And unfortunately, I am going to gain one disdain. Which, I think eventually I'll be able to X out. Um, you can get rid of Disdain, which is nice. Um, oopsie. You're technically supposed to just do a circle, and then when you get rid of the Disdain, you fill it in. But I'm just going to do a circle, and then I'll exit out if I get rid of it. Um, basically, you can make a negative Disdain a positive um, if you go to the bathhouse. So we are going to have to unlock the bath bathhouse now. The bathhouse now. Um, gotta run and get groceries so that my wife will play Lorcana with me. I'll be back if y'all are still here. Sounds good, Joe. Have a good uh, grocery run. And I will most likely be here when you get back because I've been streaming for, what, an hour? And we're on the first round. So we'll see how that works. Okay. So moving on to round number two. I do need to gain more on my cohorts for sure. So... Um, this gets discarded. These two get discarded. And then we're going to flip over two new ones for the AI. 
There we go. I'm not gonna flip, excuse me, flip over that until I choose my next card for here. So, um, either filled temples or collected goods. So filled temples are the temples here. Um, temples are decent. I haven't really done a lot of the temples, but I do want to do the gardens just because like we're streaming on the board game garden right now. So we should do, uh, the gardens. Um, that's really nice to have cause you do gain just filling in some like tracks with the gardens. Um, so maybe we'll do that. We will see. Um, but this is filled temples, which I usually don't do the temples either. Um, and then this one is collected goods, which collected goods are the market. Honestly, I usually don't do either of these. So this is a little bit of a difficult decision. Um, I do think we get to see what the resources are. So I'm going to flip this over. Of course, that one's the left. Psh, stupid. Um, okay. So I think... Filled temples. Well, if I'm going after the gardens, I might as well try to do the temples too. We'll see. I'm gonna do filled temples as my next objective. All of these you score at the end of the game. And then I'll do this one for my additional things here. And I also do uh, get that square. So I do gain a yellow and a resource. And then I gain these here, which is two black, one blue, two purple, one yellow, and two brick. So these are all of the resources that I have to use. And then I also do gain two resource production. So I gain another two bricks. And then I also, because of my small hotel, I gain another yellow. So I have three yellows, two blacks, two purples, one blue, and then five brick. All right. Hello, Joe. Welcome. Hey, Jenna. Hey, chat. This game looks like a spreadsheet. Well, you know, I love a good spreadsheet. How's it going, Joe? Uh, hi, Jenna. Um, from sunny Ireland. Oh my goodness. Jade, hello. So happy to finally catch a live video. Your videos are always fabulous. Thanks for all of the great recommendations. Thank you so much. That makes me so happy. Um, that's amazing that you live in freaking Ireland. Must be wonderful. Um, thank you so much for all the kind words. I appreciate that. That's exactly why I do it. I love being able to recommend great games to people and allow you to experience the games with people in your life. It's just a good time. Love this hobby. All right. So I'm happy that you finally got to uh, watch a live stream as well. So this is the second round. This is what I have to work with. Um, I do want to try to get to the medium granary. So that will require quite a bit of blues or blacks. Um, don't really need purples so I'm kind of tempted to not do the scout actually maybe I don't do this I usually go full-on for the scouting because it's fun because it's like polyominoes but maybe I just don't do the scouting this time it does get you some like bricks and some purple but like maybe I just don't do that and I go more for like the priests or something and get those like garden things Hmm. This is interesting. I do also want to do the, the precinct as well. I could also try to get the workshop and stuff. Um. All right, let me see. Let's do... I'm gonna use a black to fill in the next on my fort. I'm gonna use a resource to fill the next on my wall. 
that's going to get me another yellow. I'll fill in, I'm going to use two yellows to fill in the next two on the traders. That's going to get me another blue. That's also going to allow me to do the small precinct. So I'm going to use a yellow and a purple. And I'm going to do the small precinct. The small precinct um, requires me to be at the third spot of the trader's track. So that's going to get me one PD, which is the purple track, as well as one resource production, as well as one brick. I'm going to scratch that out. It's really nice to have resource production at the beginning of the game. Um, I love the gardens. Um, so many checks in one go. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the gardens. Um, I think that'll be fun. Um, also, I do need to go for the temples now, too. So... And with the temples, you can use any colored worker, which is kind of nice as well. So I now only have one yellow, but I do have, I'm gonna use a blue to fill in the next on the fort. That's gonna get me another yellow. Um, if I do the next on the fort, that's gonna get me one in discipline on the blue track. So that'll be nice. I think I'm actually going to use a yellow to fill in this one here. That's going to get me a purple. So I, I filled in the next on the priest's track. So that's the one. So I could actually build the small temple if I wanted. I am also past the third flag here on my fort. And that would allow me to build my small workshop. So that would be nice. So maybe I'll do that. I'm gonna spend three brick, one, two, three, or three resource. And that's gonna allow me to build my small workshop. That's gonna get me a blue worker. Um, the small workshop at the beginning of each year is going to get me one additional blue worker as well, so that's really nice. <laughs> Did anyone pre-order Botany? Ooh, when it was on crowdfunding. I really wanted to get that game. It looks very cool. Uh, the board game garden is secretly Hadrian's garden wall. <laughs> Frick yes. Also, October is coming soon. Anyone getting some spooky games ready to play for the Halloween month? I actually want to do a full um, video on like spooky games because I feel like I don't have a lot of spooky games and I want to do research to see like what other spooky games I can get into the collection um, and then maybe play them before October so that I can put them onto the list of spooky games that like I can tell people to check out. Um, I do have I do have one spooky game on my shelf of opportunity. Um, do I have any other spooky games on my shelf of opportunity? I don't th think so. I just have the one. And then obviously I have like some other ones as well. Oh my goodness. Kind of a spooky game I'm looking forward to is Septima or Septima. Guys, you have no idea how sad I am that I did not back Septima. <laughs> looking forward to Septima delivering soon. I'm hoping that I'm able to grab it in... Um, retail. If I'm able to grab it in retail, I'm going to grab that and play it in October 100%. I could also actually reach out possibly to Mind Clash and see if they would send me a retail edition of it. Um, and then we could do like a whole stream about it or a, like a live playthrough of it. I think that would be fun. We will see. Oh, my father's work as well. Dang. I would love that. I really want to get the bloody in oh, and I can't find a copy. I really, I really want to try bloody in. Oh, and I also do have witchcraft. 
I backed Witchcraft and I'm pretty sure that one's actually being fulfilled very soon. I think they like reached out or they didn't reach out. They, cause I backed it on game found, I think. Um, they sent an email about putting my, my address in. I'm getting Witchcraft as well. I'm so excited. Um, okay. Let me get back to this game. Jenna, stop getting distracted. What else do I need to do? I have one yellow. I have lots of stuff here. Um, if I do... You know what? I actually might... No, I think I was going to do the small temple. So let me do that first. Yeah. So I'm going to do one purple, one blue, and one brick. That's going to allow me to build the small temple. That's going to get me one more on the PD track. I've never once went further on the PD track than anything else, but we'll see what happens here. I did too, Jenna. Yeah, our shipment orders may uh, say shipping soon. <gasps> I'm so excited. I like all the witch themed games. Same, 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 same. I guess like you could consider like potion explosion could be one. Um, I do want to get potion explosion. I feel like that one's a one that I would love to have in the collection. Um, oh, ghost stories. Oh boy. Three sisters. Yep. Not spooky, but thematically, um, it's fall. Yeah, for sure. I do want to do, I would probably do a video like one being fall themed games and then one being spooky themed games. Um, so those will both probably be videos that I do in October. All right. Um, I need to do, I need to somehow get some more brick. I might actually use this and do the scout action. I'm going to use my black just so I can get brick. Um, I'm going to use black. Um, it does technically go to the AI, but the AI doesn't like gain it or anything. So I'm going to use their one, two, three, and four. So the same thing that I did that I took away, um, that's going to get me two brick. So I did the scout action number two. And then I now have three. So let me use my blue worker. That's going to allow me to fill in this spot here. That's going to get me one on the discipline track. And I can use all three. One, two, three. Three brick to fill in one, two, and three. That's going to allow me to fill in two spots on my cohort. And I think I'm going to just do center and right. So I have one on each of my cohorts. So hopefully on this next round, we are going to be flipping two of these cards. So hopefully the only thing that's going to screw us over is if we flip over two that are the same thing. Let's hope that does not happen. Um, with my luck, it probably will, but we will see. Ooh, I would love to try the solo night cage, which would fit the Halloween vibes. Ooh, yeah. Definitely will be playing Mysterium Park soon. I need to play just general, like, Mysterium again. I really enjoy Mysterium. Um, and my family really enjoyed it as well. So maybe that's a game that I could bring to a family game night in the future. All right. Um... There's no possible way for me to build the medium granary. In order for me to go any further on my fort here, I do have to build the medium granary first. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is like three different sections of the fort. And in order to move into the next one, you have to build the next granary. So can't do that. I'm going to need a purple, a blue, and a brick. So I'll probably do that right at the beginning of the next round. Um, I could... Hmm. I do want to start getting more towards the gardens. So maybe I use, I'm going to use this yellow. Hold up. Yeah, I could actually use that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to use the yellow and I'm going to fill in this right here. So I'll fill in the second of the priest track and then the small temple 
I can actually use one of any color to fill in this first box here. Um, I don't gain any of these. I do have to use one more worker in order to gain this. So I will do that after. And I can use whatever color worker I want. So that's great. Um, Jenna, shouldn't you put the soldier on the AI card so you remember to draw? Oh, is that what happens? Oh, snap. Hold up. I don't think I've ever used one of the AI's cards. So I didn't know that they actually got something if you used it. Oh yeah, anytime a player uses a neutral prospect card to acquire trade goods or use the scouting patterns, which I did, they should place the resource or soldier from that action onto the card. At the end of the year, players must reveal one additional fate card. I've never done that before. Shoot. No, I've made a mistake. I've got nowhere to run. The night goes on as I've faded away. If anyone knows the lyrics and what song that's from, I like you. Um, there is a solo board game called The Brambles. I think you would really enjoy. It's like tarot inspired. Ooh, I'm going to actually put that down on my phone. Let me quickly put that in my notes so I remember. The Brambles. Thank you, Kim. I think there's a print and play for it. Ooh. Guys, I forgot I made coffee and now I'm so happy because I have a cup of coffee next to me. Ugh, lucky. You basically defeat the dark evils lurking in the haunted brambles by playing these tarot-like um, cards. It looks interesting. Ooh, I love the sound of that. Coffee equals happiness. Yep, I agree. All right, so this is unfortunate. So I do have to, <laughs> this is bad. This is real bad. So because I did this, I do have to reveal three cards instead of two. So let's hope that we just get one of every single cohort because that's going to be the perfect situation there. Okay. One, two, three. Definitely don't think that's going to be the perfect situation that we have, but we will see. First one is right. Second one is right and third one is middle okay so i was protected from these two but i do gain one i can get up to two so what happens there is um whatever ones you can protect you do gain um valor for so up to two so basically i gain disdain for one i am not giving you guys the middle finger um <laughs> I gained disdain for one, but then the second one I gained valor for because I was able to protect uh, two of them. So I do gain one valor, but I do gain a second disdain. So this is probably the most disdain that I've ever had. I'm not doing great. I'm not going to lie. Um, we'll see what happens in the future, but it's not looking good for me. Uh, since you showed us your tarot style Genshin game, I was like, oh, you, um, if you like that sort of aesthetic, it's definitely on par. I'm very excited to see that. Is the coffee cold? I don't have any coffee. Um, I wish I had coffee. My coffee is always cold. Let's be honest. Um, all right. So that is everything for the second round. We're going to discard the two AI cards. My card. We are going to flip out two new AI cards. I'm going to avoid using any of the AI cards going forward because that freaking sucks. I'm going to look at my next two cards and choose which one I want to put up here and then which one I want to put down here. We have completed wall sections and completed wall guard sections. So I'm definitely going to keep because I haven't even started my wall guard. Um, so I'm going to put completed wall sections here and I'm going to put the wall guard down here that means that I do gain an additional yellow and blue worker for that we're going to flip over this this is going to give me oh two blacks three blues 
one purple and one yellow, as well as one brick. And then I do have three resource production, as well as I do gain one and one for my small hotel and my small workshop. So I do have quite a few blue workers this round, which is nice. I have three yellows, two blacks, one purple, and only four brick. So I'm hoping to get some more brick. We definitely need to get some more cohorts going because this next round we're going to do three again and I really don't want to gain any more disdain. So also we should probably build the bath set some point soon so I can get rid of this disdain that I have. Um, but right off the bat, I am going to build my medium granary. So that's going to be one blue, one purple, and one brick. Build my medium granary so I can continue with my fort. Um, I'm going to use one blue to fill in here. That's going to get me another yellow. And ooh. I am going to do this one as well, but I don't know what color worker to use for that. So maybe I'll just hold off on the small temple until I figure out which color worker I want. Actually, I'm going to use two of my yellows to fill in the next two spots of my priests. So that's going to get me one purple. Oopsie. And then that's going to get me one on the PD track, which is then going to get me another purple worker. And then because I have some purple workers here, I might just use one of them. Maybe not. We will see. Um. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It was supposed to be for George. Yeah. Uh, put ice. It makes it iced coffee. Good. I pretty much only drink iced coffee. I make cold brew and then I add ice to it. Um, oh, we gotta stop typing the same thing. Um, it's freaking me out. <laughs> uh, for me, it's always a double shot. If it's iced after that, so be it. But always fresh ground and done as espresso. Ooh, nice. Um, yeah, that sounds like a good coffee. Mine is the same, but done Vietnamese style. Yeah, Nat made some fantastic freaking coffee in Arkansas. Ooh, I miss it. I miss your coffee, Nat. Um, I just roughly know some of the mechanics. Got to figure out what actions you can do and how to upgrade your druids. Ooh, what is this game you speak of, Kim? Oh, oak. I've heard good things about oak. I was able to pick up Hadrian's Wall in the Ding and Dent section at a game store. It was amazingly um, inexpensive, and I'm so excited to play it solo. Very nice, Stefan. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Thank you so much for joining. Um, hopefully, you enjoy Hadrian's Wall. It's freaking fantastic. Yeah, I want that coffee again, too, George. I agree. All right. What else can I do here? That was an awful accent. I do apologize. <laughs> okay, so I can do the gardens now. So would that do me any good? Um, I would gain one here, one here, and one here. That would get me another purple worker. Hmm. Could use a yellow. I'm going to use a yellow to fill in this. Okay. I'll use a blue to fill in the next on my fort. And then two bricks to fill in one and two. 
that's going to give me a yellow worker as well as one on the renown track okay so i still have all of this uh, i'm going to use one yellow to fill in the next on the performers track Ooh, I'm not gonna have any, actually I'll get brick back after I do that. Um, so let me do one blue, one purple, one brick. That's gonna allow me to build the first garden, which is going to get me one on the PD track, one here on the traders track. That's gonna get me one brick back, one on the performer track, that's going to get me one purple and then one on the priest track, which is going to get me another purple. Look at me go. Look at me go. Holy manoli. Um, and then I think I'm going to use one purple for the any to do this. So I'm going to get one more on the PD track. Nice. And then I do get this right here which basically means I can circle this. And if I'm ever going to get one of my cohorts attacked, I can actually cross this out to save that cohort from being attacked and uh, not gain a disdain for it. So that's kind of how I'm going to do that. Um, I do still, it just like gives me a little bit of extra um, for that, so that's good. Can't do the next temple because I don't have two brick, I only have one brick. But we could get there eventually. I'm going to use another one of my blacks to fill in the next here on my fort. That's going to get me another yellow. Okay. I'm gonna spend a yellow to fill in the next on the patrician's track. That's gonna get me another black. I freaking love this game. It's so good. <laughs> Jenna wants Nat to make her copy again. Proceeds to do the worst imitation of Nat's accent. I'm so sorry. I hate myself. <laughs> Ooh, Beast. Beast sounds really cool. I'm pretty sure, is Beast the one that's like a hidden movement game? It might not be. Um, well, I don't know. I see so many games. <laughs> My husband's in Vietnam at the moment and keeps sending me photos of all the coffee drinks he's getting and I'm very jealous. Oh. I don't like coffee, but I do like the occasional iced cap from Timmy's. Ooh, we love a good iced cap. Aw, Jackpot Man, hello, welcome to the stream. Hi all, first time seeing you live. I love this game. I also do love this game. I don't know if you came into the, the stream as I was saying it, but I literally just a second ago said, I freaking love this game. We love you, Jenna, don't hate yourself. We wouldn't tease if it wasn't out of love, yes. Very true. <laughs> yes, Jen, it's a hidden movement game like Fury of Dracula. That's another one that I would love to try is Fury, Fury of Dracula. Just going to say it, Tim's is overhyped. Yep, I agree. I, I always say that, George. Everyone's like, oh my God, when you're in Canada, you have to try Tim Hortons. And I'm like, don't try Tim Hortons. It is trash. If it makes you feel better, Jenna, I missed your imitation and didn't hear anything. That's good, that's good. But it's not that I was imitating you. I just, for some reason, I just randomly put on a really bad British accent. So I apologize. <laughs> I was too busy fantasizing about Vietnamese coffee. Ah, oh, isn't that the life? All right, so this, I guess like after this, we're almost halfway done, so that's good. I. I I keep on feeling like I'm drawing this out for far too long, so apologies. Um, but I do need to 
get some more protection. So, what do I want to do here? I could just do this. I'm going to spend one yellow to cross out the next here. That's going to get me one more on the Renown track. And that's going to just get me my yellow back, which is great. Um, so I did get past the four. So I could, I could do two purples and a brick. To do the small road. Do I want to do that? Could probably be good. Um, I should also point out there is the trading or no the training grounds as well as the forum here. Basically the training grounds allow you to um, like train one of the blue workers to be used as a black worker when you are using it as the um, wall guard. But you can only do it once per uh, round. So you have to put in what round it is. And you have to use the worker for the wall guard. You can't turn the blue into a black and then use it for scout. Um, you have to use it for the wall guard. Um, and also the forum is that you could just trade in any two um, to get another color. But you can't do that um, to turn it into a black. So you would either have to do like two blues into a yellow, two yellows into a purple, different things like that. Um, okay. Can't do that. I really need to do these. So am I at the six yet? I am not. Do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Do I want to get... I guess I could do that. Because I'm pretty sure you don't have to build the small of something to build the large. Um, you could just build the large of each of them and skip the small. But the nice thing about the small road and the large road is that it does gain you um, different things on the track, which is nice. But I really do need some more protection of my cohorts. So. I'm going to put those off to the side. For a second. Is there any way for me to get a blue? Don't really think there is. I guess if I did this, that'll get me a blue. But what do I need a blue for? Oh, in order to get to there. But I will. Okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do two purples, a blue, and a brick. And that's going to allow me to build the small road. And then I either get to do one on the PD track or one on the discipline track. And I am going to go one on the discipline track. All right. And then I'm going to use my two blacks, one, two, to do one. I'm going to fill in the right cohort and I'm going to do two. That's going to allow me to fill in one on the discipline. That's going to get me one blue back. And then I think I'm going to train this one in the third round to be used for the wall guard. And that's going to allow me to fill in the next one here. And then I will do center for the wall guard. And then I have one yellow left. So my options for yellow, I think I actually want to do, this would allow me to get one more piety. That would then get me a purple worker. I could use that purple worker to fill in the next on the mining and foresting. Or, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to fill in the next one here. 
that's gonna get me a purple because I'm filling in the piety. And then I'm gonna use this purple to fill in mining and foresting. There we go. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Noah. The board game garden jokes on you, but I've been here the whole time. <laughs> you lurking? You lurking, you creep? <laughs> just kidding. Um, coffee is just burnt seeds flavor. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it, Adam. If it makes you... Oh, yeah, I already read that. Um, Jenna wants Canada to be part of the UK again. <laughs> Tim Hortons used to have good coffee, but then McDonald's uh, bought their supplier. Did they really? Don't apply, Jenna. Chat is having a blast being goofballs and hanging out. I love that so much. Chat's being very chatty today. I honestly love it. I love all you guys so much. Thanks for being here. Um, hopefully you're having a good time in chat, um, even though I'm trying to like focus on my game so that we can get it like finished at some point. Um, I do have to film today, so I do need to finish this decently soon. We'll see. Has anyone managed to complete the Hadrian's Wall solo campaign or get close? Currently stuck on Fort 3 and open to tips and tricks. Everyone help out in chat. Has anyone made it to the end? Oh, I just remembered the Hadrian's Wall is coming to BGA eventually. It is. I think it's still an alpha. When I played it in alpha, there was a bunch of bugs, so I'm hoping they are fixing it. I saw the player sheets for this in past, but watching this playthrough is making me um, itch to play this. Um, hopefully it comes to BGA. I'm hoping it does soon, for sure. Don't listen to him, Jenna. I yelled at him for not being here. <laughs> like, Noah, we're all here having a good time. Get your ass over here. There's one bug that needs fixed, then I think it'll move to beta. Nice, that's amazing. To me, coffee tastes like a burnt, a burned toast and scraped it with a knife and put it in a cup and added water. <laughs> that's hilarious. We're having a wonderful time. I love that. I've only played on the Steam version. I want to play the board game, but don't have enough players yet. Maybe for Halloween. Um, oh, Fury of Dracula. I didn't know there was a Steam version. That's cool. I really want a Steam Deck. Ugh. I can't imagine the amount of board games that I could get played on a Steam Deck. It was very fun on BGA. Um, I guess, I don't know if you are referring to something else, but... Hadrian's Wall was fun on BGA. I have completed it. I retried the first mission a couple of times to make sure I got the bonuses. That is quite helpful. Yeah, trying to get the challenges so that you get something on the next fort, I feel like is pretty important. Oh, they're not great. Okay. Uh oh, but then Adam says they are great. Oh, uh, Steam Decks are great, but I don't use it for board games at all. Okay. TTS is not the best on the Steam Deck yet, Jenna. Okay, good to know. Thanks for letting me know, friends. Thanks for saving me some money. Um, all right, so that is the end of this round. I managed to get two, two, and one in my cohorts. So hopefully this will work out a little bit better. So we are going to get three cards. One, two, three. And my cohorts are going to be attacked. So, great, we got right. We better not get another freaking right. We got a middle and we got a middle. Hey, there we go. So that means that I get two Valor because um, I can gain up to two of anything. So that's either Valor or Disdain. So if I got one Disdain, I would only get one Valor, um, but it does go up from there. Um, so because I was able to do all three of them, the two things that I do get are both Valor. So I gain two Valor. That actually gets me a black to start off this next round, which is awesome. Okay. Two AI cards are getting discarded. Mine is discarded. And then we move on to the next round. All right. 
Hello, Linnea. I believe that's how you pronounce your username. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Um, I get my two cards. We're on to the second half of the game. So we have total gladiator strength, gladiator strength, or completed cohorts. So I'm probably more likely to get completed cohorts than I am total gladiator strength. So I'm gonna do here, cohorts, and then we're gonna get this. So we're gonna get one brick and one purple. Boom. We're gonna flip over this to gain the rest of our resources. So I'm gonna gain two black, one blue, one purple, two yellows, two bricks, which I'll actually put over here. Okay. And then I do gain three additional bricks for my resource production. And then I gain one yellow for my small hotel, one blue for my small workshop, and then I can pick one of any of these three. So I think I'm gonna do probably Renown. Let me do one Renown, sure. Um, so that, unfortunately none of them were close to a worker. That would have been nice. Um, so that I gain something else, but that's fine. So, all right, what do I want to do here? So that would use up a lot of my yellows, but that's fine. Um, okay, so I want to start getting a lot of these like large ones. So I need to get to six in order to build my large hotel. I need to get to the seven to build my large workshop, and I need to get to eight to build the large road. So I am going to use one black to fill in this. I'm going to use two bricks to fill in one, two. That's going to get me one yellow. All right. Playing this game in pen, that's too much decision commitment for me. I laminate my sheets uh, so I can use a dry erase and easily erase it. Honestly, that's a great idea, Linnea. Um, close, more like Linnea. So I think I just said it right, perfect. Um, but it's not bothered, I'm not bothered either way, perfect. Well, I think I got it, Linnea. Erasable pen for the win. I do wanna do that. I think I play Hadrian's Wall um, honestly, I, I still have a lot of sheets, but it would be nice to laminate so that you can kind of undo things. Because I will say, towards the beginning of the game, I did want to undo something, so we did have to scrap one of the sheets. Fortunately, it was early enough that I didn't have a problem, like, putting in what I did thus far. Um, but yeah, I do agree. Lamination for the win. Lamination station, baby. Um, all right, so I could do the next scout and use mine. That would get me one valor as well as a brick and a purple. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to use a black. Let's see. I'm going to use mine, so I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. That's going to get me a brick and a purple. That was the second scout. All right. So I do gain one valor. I was trying to like figure out what other shapes I would need if I wanted to continue with that. Um, so that's that. I could finish off the other garden or I could do the second temple because I have filled temples. So if I, it has to be a filled temple. So I would have to 
do all three of these, which is quite a bit. And it would only get me one victory point. So we'll see if I do the medium temple. I'm not 100% sure if I want to. Um, but I'm also one away from doing the next precinct. And I'm pretty close to getting the large hotel. So maybe I do that first. I just need more black and blue. How do I get more black and blue? That's my question. I guess if I go here, I'll get a blue. Okay, I'm gonna use one black and one blue to fill in the next two on my fort. That's gonna get me to the sixth flag. I do gain a yellow. Um, I will use a brick to fill in the next sippy. That's gonna get me one renown and I can fill in one cohort. So I'm gonna do the right. So I've now filled in two on each of my cohorts. That's decent. I did that for my cartographers and delicious. I still want to try delicious. Um, well, laminating the sheets is such a smart idea. Not thought of, never thought of that. Yes, laminating and then using dry erase markers. Fantastic for both just your existing uh, roll and writes slash flip and writes as well as any print and plays that you have. It's a great uh, thing to do. All right. I actually do want to make the baths at some point soon as well. So maybe I do that. I'm going to do two yellows to fill in the next two on the green. That's going to get me one black, which is great. And that's going to allow me to build the baths if I want, um, which actually I might do. I'm going to use two purples, one blue, and two brick, it's quite a bit of brick, but I am gonna build the baths. That's gonna get me one renown. I reached a, another yellow, which is great. And then I need to figure out how to get more brick as well. I could use one yellow to fill in the next on the patricians to get a brick. There we go. Um, hmm. I'm actually like, I'm staying pretty even with all of my tracks here, which is pretty good. Um, I do have, um, I'm gonna use this black to fill in the next on my fort. That's gonna get me one on the discipline track as well as one cohort. I'll do middle. That's gonna get me another on the discipline track. All right, pretty good. Um. I want to use one yellow to go up once on the priest track. That's going to get me a purple. I'll use my two purples to go one, two. That's going to get me another brick and another resource production. Perfect. I might wait until I have some of the map packs since you can fit multiple into one laminating sheet. Very true. Um, I'm assuming that is for cartographers. I freaking love cartographers. If you're gonna be at PAX, I can bring you some laminated Hadrian's Wall sheets if you want. These are, you deserve to have nice laminated sheets for your favorite game. 
Linnea, I do have a laminator so I can do it myself, which thank you so much for offering. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, but I will be at PAX, so I will be able to see you. I would love to meet you. Um, I'm very excited for PAX. I did not think that I would be going, but I am. And it's freaking awesome. It gives me anxiety to write on the pads. I usually don't like roll and writes because of that. It aggravates my OCD. Very true. I can see that happening. Um, as a lefty, I prefer wet erase markers. Um, oh, are those like, I think those are the ones that like dry immediately, right? So that you have to use some sort of wet to, to like wipe them up. Cause yeah, as a lefty as well, it's very annoying when you like scratch something in and then like your palm like erases it. It's very annoying. Um, do you do many print and plays, Jenna? I have done a ton, Nat, and I have a whole book of them, but I haven't had an opportunity to play a lot of them. Um, I've played a few of them. They are primarily the like roll and write print and plays or the flip in. Actually, no, they're pretty much all roll and write print and plays. I do have a whole video. I like made a whole print and play uh, book, but I've only played a few of them thus far. I can't wait for PAX. I'll be happy to see you there. I am so excited. Um, yeah, just a damp paper towel works great. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I really enjoy wet erase markers as opposed to the dry erase. They're called dry erase pockets. Oh, hello, Merlin. Welcome to the stream. Lefty's always having a rough time. We really are all the time. Justice for lefties. Okay, so we're almost finished. Um, I do have four bricks. So I actually could get something done there for sure. Is there a possibility that I can get the large garden finished? Or can I get a blue and a purple worker somehow? I could get the blue worker don't think I can get the purple one, sadly. Because I would be able to build my large granary right away um, before the next round, but I think I should be able to do it in the next round. Um, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's do, I guess I could just use all four of my brick to fill in the next four on my wall. It's probably my best option. That would allow me to get two more cohorts built. So let me do that. I'll do one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go one, two, that's gonna get me a yellow worker. Three and four, it's gonna get me two cohorts. I'm gonna do left and right. Both of those are going to get me discipline. That's gonna get me a blue worker. And then, because we're in the fourth round, I could use my blue worker as a black to fill in the next wall guard. Because I can't use the blue for the granary. Because it's not built yet. Hmm. Let's see what I can do here. I might as well just use the blue in the fourth round to use it as a wall guard. Get that filled in, sure. And I have three yellows. Um, let me do one for Patrician to get a renown. Use one. Oh, you know what I should have actually done? I should have used one of my bricks for that, for the bathhouse. Dang. That's okay. Um, I'll use another yellow to do the next that, that's gonna get me a, another discipline. And then I'll use a yellow to do the next 
priest, and that'll get me another piety. There we go. So I just got a few on these tracks, which is great. If I'm able to get all four of them to 10, that'll be pretty good. Um, but I'm hoping I don't get any more disdain because I can only get rid of two disdain because I have two more rounds to do it. You can only get rid of one disdain um, per round. So the two disdain that I have are the only two that I can get rid of. So hopefully I don't gain any more disdain. That would be wonderful. Um, we have a whole store at the mall for lefties. No freaking way. I feel seen. Anybody get any good Kickstarters delivered today? I got Lawyer Up delivered yesterday and got Dreadful Meadows on Monday. Nice. I've I've really wanted to try Dreadful Meadows. That's another one that would be really good for like the Halloween time because it's like cute spooky. Um, hi Jenna. The comment you read was related to one you missed that said, I bought something on Amazon, which you slip sheets into dry erase park pockets, and then you can use dry erase markers on them. That's nice. I think I've seen you talk about those in possibly the print and play channel of the Discord, Merlin. Um, so I think I like associated that with you. And then I was like, I already know what he's talking about. Um, but yeah, those sound really cool. I, I like that. If you can't get the laminators, um, those seem really nice. You can also like, obviously, cause they're just like, like folder things, you can slip the sheet in and out, which is even better. All right, so that is everything for this round. Um, we are going to be getting four attacks one two three four i think i'm completely okay because i do have three on each of these so we have a middle yeah so we have one on the middle one on the left and two on the right i'm completely covered for all three of those so i do gain three valor which is freaking awesome one two and three that's going to gain me again another black for the next round. We're moving into the fifth round, y'all. The fifth round. I don't know how long I've been live, but I think it's been a few hours so far. Maybe two and a half. So we should, if I can like keep on going at this pace, we should be able to finish at around four. Um, this is discarded. I'm going to put out the next two for the AI. I'm going to pick my next card only two hours nice look at me go um all right oh yeah because i guess i i started more towards 130 instead of one because your girl's always late i'm assuming you guys have already figured that out and whenever i say i'm going to start a stream at like one or i'm going to start a stream at seven or 12, it's most likely 1.30 or 7.30 or 12.30. <laughs> I'm always late. My family hates me for it. It's fine. Um, okay, so these ones are both really good for objectives for me, actually. So we have large buildings. Because this is my like objective, it's probably better for me to do this one but there's also resource production, which I already have four resource production. If I get two more, I'd be able to get two victory points. If I got all nine of them, I would get three victory points. Large building, it is two large buildings, one victory point, four large buildings is two victory points, and then six large buildings is three. I think I'm gonna do, hmm. Oh, this is, this is hard. Um, because I do prefer this shape for me. Because if I do that, I'm not going to be able to finish that. I think that's okay though. Hmm. 
yeah, I think I'm gonna do, oopsie. I'm gonna do large buildings. And then I'm gonna have this down here. So that gets me one purple and one brick. All right. And then this gets flipped. I get two black, three blue, one purple. Oh, we're not getting many yellows. One yellow and one brick. And then I get my four resource production. I gain my one yellow for my small hotel, my one blue for my small workshop, and then I gain any, I think I'm gonna gain, gain my discipline. So I get another blue. There we go, look at me go. So many, so many resources to use, so fun. Hello, Petrified. Welcome, welcome. A little late, but how's it going? It's going great. We are currently on the fifth round. I always love everything to be perfectly straight. And I just looked at my stream and everything is all over the place. So let me quickly clean up for Petrified. It's going great, Petrified. Freaking love this game. Can't get over it. Slow down. You can't use two baths per round. I guess I missed, forgot about it. Uh, yeah, you can't use, you can't use two. You have to use only one per round, sadly. I think that's fine because I think I got my, my disdain under and my protection under, uh, under wraps here. We're good. Lurking for a bit while I chop veggies. Amazing. I need to play again. Again, it's been a long time. It, yeah, you do. It's a fantastic one. Uh, it's fine. I'm always late too. So for me, you're right on time. Amazing. The other day I fell, I, oh, I fell one large building of having six. Missed the road. Dang. Oh, that'd be the worst. Um, okay. So talking about or speaking of large buildings right away, right off the top here, I'm going to do one purple, one blue and two bricks. And I'm going to build my large granary. Bam. That's going to get me one renown. All right. And then we can start building into the last section here. So I can build my large hotel as well. So actually, let me do that too. So I'm gonna do purple, blue, boom, boom, and two brick. And that's going to allow me to build my large hotel. So that's gonna get me another renown in a yellow worker. And because I got that renown, it gave me another yellow. So I get two yellows, all right. I have no purples, so I'm gonna need to get some more purples. Um, I'm gonna use a blue. Actually, let me quickly, before I get into filling this in, is there anything that I need? I do need a purple and two brick, but then where the heck am I gonna get the rest of the brick for this? This would, I'm probably gonna have to do another scout action to get me some brick. Because if I build this large garden, that's gonna get rid of the rest of my brick. And brick is a good thing to have. Ooh, but I do need to use one brick in order to do my baths. So let me quickly, before I forget, one brick, fifth round, get rid of my disdain. 
got rid of one to stain, we're good. So I can no longer build the garden until I gain one more brick. So I'm going to use a black to do this scouting action. I'm going to use mine. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. So that's going to get me one brick and one purple. All right. I've really messed up this whole shape here. I'm not gonna be able to fill in all of the scouting, but that's fine. What is happening? Um, you can? I can what? Oh no, they shut my water off. No cleaning veggies. Oh no. You can actually make two bribes per year. Just read it. Players are limited to making only two bribes each year. Okay, good to know. <laughs> we just need Jenna to read it right away. The right way around. Um, no, that it should matter for her in practice. Oh, okay. That's going to be used twice per year. Okay, well that's awesome. That's good to know. I could do another another one, but I don't think I want to do that as of right now. Because I would love to do the large gardens. Do you guys think it would be worth it for me to do the large gardens? Or should I get to eight and try to do the, the large road? I'm definitely not going to be able to do the large workshop until maybe the next round because that takes four brick and I'm running low on brick this round. It's under the baths. Oh yeah, max two bribes per year. There we go. Jenna doesn't read very well. It's fine. She doesn't pay attention often to things. <laughs> All right. So I have lots of stuff I could do. Hopefully Nat's not listening. <laughs> I'm so bad. Um, okay, I'll do one purple, one blue, and two brick. Let's freaking do it. Let's freaking do it. Why, Jenna? Why? So that's going to get me one piety, one trader, one performer, one priest that gets me a purple one whatever this is gets me one blue and one patrician that gets me black look at that look at that so i finished the large gardens awesome <laughs> not no i thought you weren't listening <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just a habit. Ugh. Okay, so. So I finished the large garden. So that's gonna be able to get towards or go towards my large buildings. We'll see how that works out. I already have the large greenery, greenery. I have the large hotel. I have the large gardens. I could, now that I'm at the sixth, I could make the medium precinct and then I could do the large precinct. And I also need to do the large workshop as well as the large road. So if I'm able to get the large precinct and then the other two, um, the workshop and the road I have to get because that's part of my, um, my goal. But if I'm able to get the large precinct too, that would make it six and I could get my three victory points for my engineer objective. We'll see if that works out for me. I don't know if it's going to, but we will see. Um, okay. And also, I'm almost at all of them being at 10, which is fan-freaking-tastic. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to do one. Actually, I'll do one of each. One blue, one black. I'll do one and two. 
that's going to get me a lello. Um, let me do this. I'll do two yellows to fill in the last two here. One and two. That's going to get me a renown and a brick. Okay. Yeah, I'm really running low on brick today. It's not great. It's not great for me at all. Um, my Renown has made it to the 10. That's good. Good. That's good. Um, hmm. I'll do two yellows and a purple to do the medium here. So that's gonna get me one discipline, a resource production, and another brick to do the medium precinct. Amazing. Oh boy. Okay. So the only thing that I can do with the scout is I could do one more scout and oh, I could use this one, but that means that we would have to get another attack card out, which means that this round I do have to get six out. So that would mean that I would have to take seven cards for the battle and I don't want to do that. That is scary. So, I don't want to do that. I actually might use, I'm going to use a black for a, actually I'm going to use both blacks to do wall guard. So I get one discipline and one cohort. And I'll just do left cohort for that. Okay. <laughs> what did I need bricks for again? I could just get rid of my other disdain now. That's an option. Or I could use my bricks for my wall. If I used my bricks for my wall, I would gain one renown and another yellow. Or I haven't made it to the eight yet, but I'm pretty close to the eight. Um, also the workshop. The workshop, I need to have four bricks. I only have two. I don't think there's an option for me to do that, so I might have to wait and do the large workshop and the large road in the next round. That might be the option that I have to make. The courthouse is once per column, yes. Yeah, max one ruling per column each year. That's a good way to use your purples if you have a lot of purples. Um, but yeah, I've never bothered with the courthouse either. I've never really used that one. Um, I like the free people, yeah. Oh, is that what it is? How does the courthouse even work? I always thought it was just that you, cause if you, if you look at it, do you just get a purple? Is that how, is it better for getting purples? <laughs> I always thought that you spent a purple, but then I'm like, wait, if you spend a purple, what are you getting? <laughs> but I think it's that you, you do it once per column and you get things. I guess the second column, you have to spend a blue to get two purples. And then the third column is you spend a purple to get a blue. First column is free purple. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
See, that's the thing is like, I never really look at certain things. So I never really look into how they play. So maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe I just need to use more of the things that I never use. <laughs> that would be good. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use both of my bricks to fill in the next two on my wall. So I'm going to get one Renown and one Yellow. So I'll get another Yellow and fill in another Renown. All right, all right. I need to get some more Peony. Where is other places that I can get Peony? I think really the main place to get Peony is in the temples. So I would have to build the next, the medium temple in order to get some more Peony. Um, also, I could always just use the road to get more Peony as well. Um, okay, so I think I have two blues. I'm going to use one of my blues to fill in the next on here. Actually, I'm just going to use both of my blues. I'm going to fill in this and get another yellow. So I have three yellows. My goodness. I'm going to have way too many blues. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use I'm going to use one yellow to fill in the next on here. That's going to get me a black. I can use a black to fill in the next wall guard. I'm trying to figure out how to get some more, more, more cohort. There we go. Um... Okay, I'll do another yellow to gain a discipline. That's going to get me another blue. I can train this blue in round five in order to use that as a wall guard. That's going to get me another discipline. And then I'm going to use this yellow to fill in the next one here. That's going to get me another black that then I'm going to use again for a wall guard. And that's going to get me another cohort. And I think I'm just going to put it in the center. So left cohort has four, center cohort has four, and then right cohort has three. Um... Anyone else peek at the previous income cards to see what has already come up arrow-wise to determine where to put cohorts? Uh, is this cheating? I don't think it's cheating. I've of often done that too. Like me thinking right now, I know that we've gotten a lot of right cohorts thus far. Um, well, at least to me, I feel like we've gotten a lot of right cohorts. So I kind of put that in my mind that... I probably don't need as much right cohorts because a lot of them have come out already. Um, so you're right. Like I do that as well, um, for sure. Um, so when you do all three, you get two purples you didn't before. Very cool. Yeah. I need to look into like starting to do some of these buildings that I typically don't go for. And I do think that future forts do get you to do more of the ones that you don't typically go for so i'm excited for that um all right so i think that is everything for that round i have no more resources um this round we are getting one two three four five six attacks so we're going to see if i'm safe we got a left we got a right we got 
another right. We got another. Are you kidding me? Why are there so many rights? A middle. We can't get any more rights. This needs to be a middle or a left. Oh, it's a middle. Okay. Thank goodness. I will also add that we still do have a protection here from the first temple that I have not used yet. So that is great. Um, but I am fully protected. That means that I do get three valor for that. Woohoo! Amazing. Love that for me. So I'm going to gain one, two, and three valor. That's going to get me another black again. And Valor has hit the 10 point. So the only one I need to gain, I need to get two more piety to get it to 10. So then all of them are past 10 and that's the challenge, which is great. Um, so I will, if I'm able to beat this fort with the goals, I'll be able to get the challenge as well um, for the next fort, fort number six. So let's move on to the last round. Um, this gets discarded. Last two AI cards. Last two of my cards. Ooh, okay. Um, so I'm definitely gonna put this one down here. This one is completed citizen tracks. So that is all of these. So I already have two citizen tracks completed and I'm pretty close to getting the rest of them. So I'm gonna try to complete all five of the citizen tracks um, cause that would get me Three victory points. You can only gain up to three victory points for each of these. Um, so I could get up to uh, three times six is 18. I could get 18 victory points. Are you playing on easy? Yes, Merlin, I'm playing on easy. I'm scared to go any further. Um, I do think that if I go through this entire campaign on easy, I'm gonna maybe in the future go through it in medium. And just going forward, uh, just play on medium. I always get scared at the whole attack thing. So yeah. Um, all right. So I do gain an extra black for this. Um, I also need to flip this over to see what we get. We get one brick, two blacks, oopsie, oopsie, two blacks, one blue, two purples, two yellows, and one resource. Um, I also then get five additional resources for my resource production. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. And then I gain two yellows for my small and large hotel. I gain one blue, and then I gain one of any of the tracks, which we all know I'm gonna do piety, and that's gonna gain me another purple. Amazing. Okay, we are doing great. This is fan freaking tastic. <sighs> now what, okay. Um, so I've made it past both seven and eight. So at any time I can make the large workshop and I can make the large road. Do I just want to do them right away? If I did that, it would need four brick and two brick. So I would have four and two. I would only have one brick left. What other ways can I get brick? I can gain one brick here. and then I can gain one brick here, and I can gain one brick here. So I would gain another three bricks, so that'd be four bricks. I could gain another five, so that's one, two, three, four, five. I don't think there would be any way for me to finish my wall section, but I think that's okay. So I think I might do that. I might just... Even if I don't even get that last one and use one brick to get rid of my second piety, or not my piety, my uh, disdain. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go four brick, 
I'm going to complete the large workshop. That's going to get me one renown, gets me a yellow, and that's also going to get me a blue worker. And then I'm going to use two purple, boom boom, one blue, and two brick to finish my large road. That's going to get me... Oh, you know what? That's a slash. I'm pretty sure with my small road, I chose either discipline or piety. Um, and I'm pretty sure you get both of them because it's like a slash. So I get one renown and one valor. And I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do it because it's a solo game. I'm pretty sure I chose to get discipline and I didn't get a piety. So I gave myself one piety. All right. Even though I can probably get PD in another way. Um, yeah. All right. So that is that. I got all four of the buildings that I need. So I've achieved the goal. The only other thing that I need is I need 75 points or more. So we just need to get more points. That is that. All right, so I'm going to do, I'm going to use a black. And I'm going to use a scout. I'm going to use my scout action. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. That gets me a resource and it also gets me a valor. That's going to get me another black because I finished off a row. There's no possible way for me to finish off the other two rows, sadly, um, because I put in the shapes in the wrong way. I may need to adjust down to easy for the campaign. I do fine without the forts on normal, but campaign is rough on normal in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's because it requires you to do some very specific things that often don't work out great when like you don't do it often if that makes sense um because you are trying like new things that you don't typically go for um so i do think that that is a good way to do it just put it down to easy for sure um back how's the game going well we are in the last round um i do have everything completed that i need to the only thing is now that i need to make sure that i get 75 victory points um, I also do have all four at 10, so I have completed the um, challenge as well. So I'm going to use one brick in round six to get rid of this disdain. So I've now gotten rid of both of this disdain that I got in the early game. Um, I have a ton of yellow, which is awesome. So I'm going to finish off this. So I'm going to do three yellows, one, two, three, to do one, to get a blue, two, to get a renown, and three, to get a brick. All right, um, I will then do two blues on my fort, that's gonna get me another yellow. I am then gonna use my three yellows and one purple to do my large precinct. That's gonna get me one renown. That's gonna get me another yellow. One resource production and one brick. So I did, I think I've successfully done the six large buildings because i've done large garden large precinct large granary large road large workshop and large hotel frick yeah i love this game <laughs> it's movie time here so i have to go thank you for a wonderful stream and have fun thank you so much jo josephine 
um, appreciate you being here. Um, have a good time watching your movie. And thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. All right, so I finished three of the citizen tracks. So, so far I only have one victory points or one victory point. If I get one more, I'll get two victory points. So I could try to finish off this one. I don't think I can. I don't know how I would get my other yellow. I might be able to ooh, try to get something else. Ooh, I can do the landmark. That would get me two valor. Tempting. But that would use up my blue as well as my two brick. I don't know what like way to do this. Um, Cause you always can exchange two for one, but I don't think you can exchange blacks. That's the only issue. I do think I'm gonna do two blacks to fill in this and this. That's gonna get me a discipline. How can I get another yellow? If I do another discipline, if I use this yellow, that would get me another discipline. That gets me a blue. I could exchange these two blues. You know what, I'm gonna look up the forum because I don't think you can exchange two of something into a black, but I think you might be able to do two blacks into something else or you just can't. Can you get one from the wall? Um, sadly, I cannot. Um, I would need one, two, three, four. I would need four bricks, and I don't think there's any way for me to gain another brick. I also am pretty far away from getting another one from my Renown track. So I'm trying to see if I could... Oh my god, another way to replay the game. I really need to buy this one. I don't think so. Let me quickly check. I just, yeah, I don't think you can use black in any way. At the forum, uh, players can return any two workers from their player board to gain one worker of a different type from the main supply. Players are restricted only to doing this once per year. Also, this exchange must not involve soldiers returned or gained. Dang it. I think soldiers can't be anything to do with the forum. Yep. Yep, you are right. Sadly. Um, all right, then I guess. Should I just do the, the landmark? Because I've gotten to both this section here on the discipline track and the renown track, I could either do the statue or I could do the archway. These are the landmarks. Um, if I do the archway, that would get me to Valor. Honestly, I don't think any of it really matters at this point. This would just get me one victory point. So if I do happen to be able to get a yellow, oh, you know what? I can do that. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna exchange these two blues for a yellow. Um, that will be here in the forum. I did it in round six, because you only can do it once per round. Um, and then I'm gonna use that yellow to fill in the last spot of this one. And that's gonna get me 
one blue back. There we go. And then I can still use this blue and two brick to do the archway landmark. So that's going to get me two valor. So that's, there we go. Well, that worked out. I don't know if I was trying to do something else, but I think I solved my problem. Amazing. Um, I can do this brick into this. That's my, my sippy. That's gonna get me one more renown. Every spot on this track is a victory point, so pretty good. Um, and then I will use I'm going to use one of these for my fort. Oh my goodness. That's going to get me one discipline and one cohort. One discipline. One cohort. I think I'm going to just not put in any into the right. I'm going to get this one, which is going to get me a valor. That valor is going to get me a black. And then I will do one black to get me another cohort. Oh, you know what? I think I have one here that is completed cohorts. I might wanna just at least finish a cohort. So I think I'm just gonna finish my left cohort. That's gonna get me a discipline. That's gonna get me a valor. And then I just have one black left and I think I'm just gonna use it. I'm already finished my fort, so I can't use it there. So I think the only thing that I can do with a black is put it into the wall guard. So there we go. I think that is it. Look at that. I didn't realize that you could not use uh, the soldiers at the forum. Um, in my defense, it does say it does say can return any two workers and then just adds at the end. Yep, exactly. Um, but yeah, I usually, I, I don't often use the forum. Um, I think this might be like one of the only times that I've ever used the forum, um, but there we go. So I'm gonna discard this, discard these. The only other thing we have left to do is we are going to face one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attacks. Good Lord, help us. Let's see if we survive. Um, I do need to remember, we do have the small temple. So if I get more than four on the right cohort, or if I get four, if I get more than three, I can use that one to protect me. So we have middle, left, 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 right, middle, middle, and middle. Woohoo! Okay, so I'm completely protected. I have six on the left, three. We have four in the center, four. Then we have three on the right, one. There we go. Look at us go. We did it. So I get... For that, I get a total of four Valor. So that's gonna get me one Discipline, two, three, and four. It is gonna get me a Black Worker, but that is not gonna help me in any way. Um, okay, so we then count up all of our victory points. So for each of the tracks, you're gonna see these uh, red flags at the bottom. That's going to be how many victory points on that track you get. So I got to 16 here. My goal right now is to get 75 or more. So I got 16. I got 10 in Piety. I got 20 in Valor. And I got 18 in Discipline. So that is that. Um, for our path cards, we have all of these. So final disdain, my final disdain is zero. So I gain three for that. Um, filled temples, I only did the first temple. So I get one for that. So it's four completed wall sections. I've only did two, so I got two victory points. So that is six 
completed cohorts. I have one, seven um, large buildings. I got all three or all six, so I get three victory points. That's 10. And then completed citizen tracks. I got one, two, three, four. So that is 12 because I got two victory points for that. So I got 12 victory points for my path cards. Um, total disdain. So you would gain negative points for your disdain, but I got zero. So I got negative or zero for that. Oh boy. Let's count up my score. I am afraid. I think I'm okay. Just based off of the numbers. 16 plus 10 plus 20 plus 18 plus 12 no oh my god i got 76 76 i literally just made it holy crap okay well that's awesome um oh i ordered korean hot dogs for dinner can't cook uh, can't cook no water. All your talk of cheese hang hangover earlier was like, that sounds great. I have one in the fridge and I am so excited after this stream. I'm going to go and I'm going to put that in the toaster oven and I am stoked to eat it. Just squeaking through. Yep. Yeah. What was the goal again? 75. Yes, it was 75. And then I had to um, build all of the large so i needed to get the large granary large road large workshop and large hotel and i successfully did that i got 76 points oh my god i am so happy right now okay so we successfully did the fort number five i also did get to 10 on each of these tracks um so i do gain i need to make note of it but i did do um, the challenge, which means that next round I do start with an additional yellow and an additional blue. Hail to the yeah, y'all. <laughs> okay, well that is everything for today's stream. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you. Okay, I'm getting Korean hot dogs for dinner now. Frick yes, we're all gonna get Korean hot dogs for dinner. Please explain, please explain Korean hot dogs. This is a new concept to me. So basically, um, George, it is kind of a mix between a pogo and a giant mozzarella stick. Yeah. So if you've ever seen online, like a lot of people on like social media and stuff eat these Korean hot dogs um, cause they always have like great cheese pull. So it's like a hot dog but then they like bite into it and it's like this huge long cheese bowl. Those are Korean hot dogs. They're fantastic. Um, basically some of them you can get like hot dog and cheese in the middle. Some of them you can get like, so half of the, the pogo hot dog is cheese and then half of it's the, the hot dog. Oh, it's great. And then they like put this awesome batter on the outside and then you can have like potatoes on the outside. You can have ramen, like uncooked crispy ramen on the outside. Um, you can have, I usually get the like, I think they're like frosted flakes that you can get on the outside. I always get the frosted flakes because there's this really cool like contrast um, between the like cheese and the hot dog and the, the savory of like the sweet corn flakes. Um, so yeah, I usually get that. And then you do put like a sauce on the outside. Um, you can do like a sweet mayo or a spicy mayo. Um, different things like that. You can also put like seasoning on it. So freaking good. Definitely recommend. If you guys have a Korean hot dog place um, by you, try it out. And it's a thick batter covered pogo stick essentially, but it has breadcrumbs and it makes it crispy and you can get it with little potatoes and like hash brown style. Yep, exactly. Thanks, Jen Jenna. Nicely done. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining. Um, Joe, board to play. Thank you. Thank you. So what you're really saying is we're getting them at PAX. Yes. If Philadelphia has Korean hot dogs somewhere close to PAX, then I am definitely in 100%. Is it Philadelphia? I think it's Philadelphia. 
Yeah, I think it is. Uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for joining, friends. Brian, thank you so much for joining. Kim, Tasha, what an interesting concept. I've never heard of this before. Definitely look it up. See if you have any local to you and try it. It is very good. It's not healthy in any way, um, but ooh, so great. Um, hopefully you guys, yes, it's Philly and Pax is literally a block away from Chinatown. Perfect. So they must have something, I assume. So we are definitely doing that. Let's do that. That's in the plan. Korean hot dogs with the fam. <laughs> um, but yeah, I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I am going to go and have my Korean hot dog and I'm going to get ready to film, which I am filming my calling my collection so that video will be up on sunday i think i'm putting it up on sunday or tomorrow either no i think it is sunday that i decided to put it up sometime this weekend you guys will see a video of me calling my collection so that'll be fun hopefully i can uh get myself to get rid of something um also convince francis to allow me to get rid of something um some things we'll see um, but I am going to a local convention tomorrow. It's called TabsCon in Toronto. If anyone else is going, I'll see you there. Um, but yeah, they do have like a bring and buy. So you can bring some games that you want to buy and then you can buy what other people bring. So I'm excited for that. And hopefully I can get rid of a good amount of games um, so I can make some money and buy some new games because that's always fun. Unhealthy things are great, though. I 100% agree. Have a good day, everyone. Nat, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. Um, yeah. Out of shelf space, Jenna? Yes, 100%. And there's just, like, games on our shelf that, like, I don't really love anymore. So just ones that, like, I do still like them, but they just don't get to the table very often. Just on the fact that I get so many games in often. So... Um, yeah, we'll see what I end up getting rid of. Um, have a good day, everyone. I will see you on, there's not going to be any live streams this weekend over on Twitch, but I will see you next week with some more live streams. Hopefully I'll do another Hadrian's Wall one. We'll continue on to another fort. Um, yeah, have a good, have a good rest of your Friday. Have a good weekend, everyone. Play lots of board games and I will see you next week. Bye!